Nearest neighbor analysis is another procedure for determining spatial patterns uh, in point data. The nearest neighbor statistic depends on the NND, the nearest neighbor distance. And this is the distance between each point and its closest neighboring point. So if you have a cloud like this, for each point we can calculate an NND, say the points are, you know, I. So for point one, we find the closest neighboring point and calculate its distance, and that's NND1. For point two, say this is point two, we find its closest neighbor, maybe it's this one over here, we calculate that distance, and that's NND2. And what we are going to do is compare, uh, make a statistic based on the average nearest neighbor distance. And we're going to compare that average to theoretical nearest neighbor distance averages for clustered random and uniform point patterns. So if the point pattern is perfectly clustered, perfectly random, or perfectly uniform, we know what the nearest neighbor distance average should be, and we're going to compare that to the empirical average that we see in our, in our sample data. So NND bar is just the sum of the nearest neighbor distances for each point divided by N. So each point in our analysis has a nearest neighbor distance, a single distance to its closest neighbor. We're going to sum all of those distances up and divide by the sample size, and that gives us our NND bar. Now, I said that we know what some theoretical values of NND bar should be for different types of spatial point processes. So if we have a random spatial point process, NND bar sub r, r for random, is known to be equal to 1 over 2 square root of density. And in this case, density is just the number of points divided by the area of the study area. So say this is a uh, 20 by 10 grid, and you've got 10 points in here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, then the area of this is going to be 200, and the density is 20 over 200, which equals, uh, I should know this very quickly, 1 tenth. Okay. And then the value of what, and then if given that we have 20 points in an area of this size, if the points were perfectly random, then the average distance to each point's nearest neighbor should be 1 over 2 root density. So 1 over 2 square root of uh, 1 tenth, which equals uh, 1 over 2, and root of a tenth well, that's not an easy one, is it? Never mind. Uh, so, you know, it's something like a third. It's something like a third. And then this is 1 over 2 thirds, so equals 3 over 2. So the nearest neighbor distance, uh, we expect each point to be, uh, or on average, we expect points to be about 3 over 2 distance units away from its nearest neighbor. In this case, when we have a uniform spatial point process, the expected nearest neighbor distance is just 1.07 over the root of density. So in the case before, it would have been 1.07 over the root of one-tenth. And that's the average distance we expect to see points from one another uh, if, the, if the points were uniform. Now, if they're clustered in the extreme case, we expect a nearest neighbor distance to be equal to zero. And if you have, say, a study area like this, in the most extreme case of clustering, 
So you have 10 points. All 10 points are right on top of each other. That's the most clustered these 10 points can be. And in that case, none of the points have any distance to their, to their nearest neighbor. So the average of all those zeros is just a zero in itself.